Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there taurus taurus sun moon and rising sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading so before anything else just a quick announcement and disclaimer that i'm going back with the way how i do my readings originally during the first time i started my youtube channel around 20 15 or so um people who have been with me for the longest time would know this this is my usual type of reading wherein i lay out all the cards and i place in some crystals over here astro dices pl playing cards oracle and lenormand and i channel the message to whatever comes up and i tell you guys as is what i'm picking up for you for the that specific month and for this month december 2019 so um yeah again this is a general reading and it may or may not connect with you guys and the only way i can check in with your situation is to get a personal and private session reading with me but um yeah um without any further ado let's get on with the reading okay so taurus um communication is going to be a big issue and big deal here what i'm getting here is that there could be some frustrations that you are picking up i'm getting here that there could be two types of tours that i'm picking up one person probably undergoing something in terms of singlehood there is an energy here wherein maybe you are trying to rush things, maybe you are, you know, um, aging, maybe you're entering your 30s or your 40s, and I don't know. There is an energy here wherein you might be frustrated in terms of your love life, your dating life, and relationships, and you are rushing on it. Maybe, you know, you feel that you are aging, you're, you're entering your 40s, your 50s, and you're still not married. You're, you still haven't found the one. You still haven't really in that relationship wherein you are having that fulfillment. So you are entering that frustrating energy right there and trying to rush things and you know you are evaluating life what's going to be happening for me am i just going to be single all my life and am i going to be alone do i have in the stars some form of a widow um energy in me what's wrong with me you know you might be questioning yourself with a lot of those things and you might be beating yourself up with those thoughts and another aspects that I'm getting here is that you could be in a relationship wherein you are frustrated. Maybe something is not working out in that relationship. And, you know, even though that things are not working out in, and maybe it is somehow stagnant as well, 
you are still in that relationship and you're still working hard, you're still pushing in that relationship, hoping that one day things eventually get better. There is that form of energy that I'm getting here. So again, two aspects of relationship scenario that I'm picking up for you guys, Taurus. And what I'm getting here is that um, the balance of give and take is going to be playing an important role. Are you working too much in the relationship? Are you forcing to do the hard work to make things happen? Please do know that it takes two people to make the relationship work out. I kind of feel that um, boundaries and the yin and yang of a relationship is an important role that you need to focus on right now are you doing too much or are you demanding too much to your partner more than you know they can handle and maybe that is really something that you need to take a look on this can also mean that you know if you're single and you are in dating land this could be a scenario where in it's it is telling you to not judge the book by its cover maybe you're too superficial i'm not saying that all tours are like that but in this scenario i kind of feel that you know you might be judging a person without really knowing them without giving them a chance and this is like a time that you know you might need to mature in terms of how you view relationships and how you view dating life you know even though a person that is a player or you know someone who does one night stands and anything like that it doesn't mean that they are not, never gonna enter a stage wherein they can be very serious i mean it's possible you know a person can change they can be a player one day and then they suddenly wake up and they find themselves really committed with someone else you know there is a woman out there that can really change them and that can happen so this is a point where it's telling you to never judge the book by its cover and at the same time do know that you know working yourself too much in a relationship and not doing anything for a relationship is two things that are not going to be healthy to whatever situation you are going through right now what i'm getting here is that in the recent past you have been just going with the flow having fun and you know having that come what may attitude and this can also be a scenario wherein you might be um willing to take the risk there is a risk factor that i'm getting here and right now you are coming into a realization that hey the things that i have done in the past maybe i have taken advantage of the energy that was happening and right now i am doubting quite a few things there is a sense of doubt and uncertainty over here and a sense of are things ever going to be working out anymore or am i just going to be this woman who doesn't make a stand in any relationship and doesn't make any impression with a certain person in my life that kind of energy so yeah the biggest here is that i kind of feel that a lot of you guys are beating yourself up too much you're being too critical with yourself or you could be very critical with your partner I do see here that there is a sense wherein someone might be entering your life or there could be sudden progression that is going to be transpiring for you. Um, someone entering your life by surprise, someone sweeping you off your feet. You know, it could be a romantic venture as well. This can be a scenario wherein I'm telling you, if you are in a situation wherein there is some form of dating and romance and then suddenly this person does not contact you anymore this could be a sign that you know that person um is fed up with you not really in a negative way but more on maybe you are dealing with someone who has a huge ego and they think that they can get any woman that they want so 
you're not the challenge anymore. And so, you know, they are moving on or something like that. I just kind of feel that, you know, there is that form of energy here as well. So be careful of the people that you meet. You do have this um, knight of swords, you know. I can enter fast in your life and I can leave just as fast as well. But at the same time, if you notice a person suddenly giving you this emotional care, attention to you, then this could also be a sign that, hey, I want things to grow between us. I want things to work out between us. And that can, you know, make everything feel so worth it for you. And um, yeah, I'm getting here that there is a lot of inner conflict that is happening inside of you. So I know there is some form of restlessness that I'm getting here. I do see that any misunderstandings in relationships is going to be cleared out within the month of December 2019. We have here the sun and the temperance card so there is some form of peace and harmony within this the only situation that i am in concern here is that yes things are going to get better any uh, misunderstandings are going to be clearing out and that is a good news but i just kind of feel that some of you guys you know even though that things are better you are going to be you're going to keep bringing up the past, you know? There is an essence here wherein you keep being negative. You keep bringing up the things that did not work. Maybe you are, you are wanting answers. You are wanting to find or to... There is something that you want to hear, basically. And you're not hearing it. So you keep repeating everything even though they might have already apologized to you on it and i kind of feel that you know that if you're doing that um attitude to your relationship i have to warn you to not be too overbearing because we do have this ten of wands and you know that person might feel as if it's so hard to deal with you like you know a relationship shouldn't be this hard you are making everything so hard it's hard to love you it has that energy so try to try to move on especially if someone has already apologized to you don't make it hard for them to deal with you and know that they might be undergoing something else as well they they are probably having um issues in terms of their life I mean, in terms of their career, that is possible. You know, you are not the only person in the world that they need to deal with. They need, they have their own life as an individual person as well. So you need to keep that in mind. So um, yeah, there is that form of energy. But other than that, we do can see here that there is going to be improvement in communication. So there's going to be a lot of talking a lot of clarity is going to be happening. We do have the key here in the Norman, which is telling us that there is some form of answers that we are going to be receiving for the month of December. So even though you might be sensitive and might be emotional as well, try to hold off on that emotions and don't try to exaggerate things because you might be exaggerating everything as well. Maybe you are so used to someone hurting you. You are so used to things that are not doing well to a point wherein you are making it as a habit. Your person, the other person in the relationship wants to make it work with you as well. So don't make it hard for them to do so. They are going to make an effort to you. They are they're doing their best. They will do their best. But you need to be more um you need to let them do the work for you it takes time it does not mean that they they don't take action immediately does not mean that they're never gonna be they're never gonna make it up to you they will 
but it happens in their own pace. So um, yeah, there is that kind of message. So there is a second chance in relationships here. Some form of healing, some form of, of um, fixing problems in a relationship is definitely um, over here. We are getting some oracle cards here that, you know, um, you have there here that no conditions aren't favorable right now. And we also have the trustworthy guidance. So this is like listening to your listening to someone whatever they tell them maybe this is this video i'm telling you guys to not push the other person don't do anything crazy this is not the time to do so and let things flow let things happen you know you can make it work but you don't have to make crazy decisions you don't have to force your own idea maybe you're just being emotional so you don't have to do anything that is quite abrupt and we also have here the love. The answer that you're seeking for is love. So um yeah, uh, what what I'm getting here is that you know focus on your uh, it on the other person. Also, don't just think about what you feel. Don't just think about yourself. Think about the other person too. What are they undergoing? What are you undergoing? I know that you need love. I know that you are um, in a rush to in your relationship and to fixing that relationship to progressing that relationship but do know be more sensitive of what's going on with the other person as well that is really going to be very very important we also have here pluto and libra in the third house so communication is going to be very powerful in fact, this entire reading has a lot to do with communications and the actions that you do in terms of how you connect with the other person. In terms of if you're single, like I said earlier, this is a point we're in to not beat yourself up, like I said earlier, to not think so negative about yourself and I kind of feel that someone is definitely going to come into your life, but you don't need to make it hard for the other person to love you. It's basically on the same wavelength. It's just that I kind of feel that I'm picking up on different people. One that is single, one that is in a relationship. But basically, the idea and the advice is the same. Don't make it hard for the other person to come to you and give them a chance. That is really the biggest message that I can give you guys here so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i do hope that this reading has given you the insight and clarity that you need to know as you navigate the month of december 2019 and again if you haven't subscribed yet to my video please do so please like the video and any comments are always welcome i do reply on them so um yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts about this reading and if you'd like a more personal reading you can just book a session with me on my website in the stars by and i'll see you guys next year